Hello, what is going on guys? I am Numb Nexus, bringing you guys back another brand new moveset guide video. We're going to be talking about the Lord himself, Guzzlord, probably my favorite Ultra Beast. He's so fucking cool, like he's easily hands down my favorite Ultra Beast out of all of them. His design is so cool, so godlike, so menacing, so terrifying, and his description saying that he swallows seas. Seas! That's huge, that's crazy, holy shit. So guys, if you're enjoying the video, of course, make sure to slap a like, uh, subscribe if you already have it, and definitely make sure to show your love to the comments section down below. You can provide sets that you haven't already seen within this video, and if you want to know more, I guess you can continue to watch the video. But the first portion we're going to be talking about is sets, uh, kind of a spread, and sit down and kind of look at it. Chanty's HP is, I think, let me look at it. I'm going to actually look at it right now so I don't sound like I'm like under knowledge or some shit like that. But Chansey, if I'm not mistaken, has like 250 base HP, which it does. And then of course, Blissey has 255. He has 223. Easily one of the most highest HP stats in the game. That's like almost rivaling Chansey and Blissey. That's huge. Maxed out, it hit 650. That is absolutely just, wow. So obviously we're gonna look at that massive you know, 650 HP stat right there. Um, there's, of, of course, an attack stat of 101, a defense stat of 53, a special attack stat of 97, a special defense stat of 53, and then, of course, a speed stat of 43. So, kind of looking sort of off the board, he's also a dark and dragon typing as well. So, he's basically like way bulkier high dragon. Kind of to look at it, his defenses are extremely poor. But contrasted with that HP stat, is going to be naturally bulky. Now there's another Pokemon out there, and I kind of, kind of, kind of mimic him uh, with this a lot. Is Waylord? Waylord has a Bobo stupid amount of HP, but then his defense stats, both of them are both 45. So I kind of look at him as like a better Waylord. Um, a lot of people say Chansey, no, because Chansey still has incredibly high defense, and a couple of the Violet. Same thing with Blissey, incredibly high defense. Or special defense, I should say. So, I mean, this thing is like a better Waylord. We're going to have to see how it works out within the meta. Uh, unfortunately, it's a quad weakness to Fairy. So, it's going to be a little annoying with that. And when you have a Pokemon that's this incredibly slow, like almost every Fairy type in the fucking game is going to be able to outspeed this nigga. So, and running Scarf Set is not... Don't, don't, please, please don't recommend that. But now we're going to be moving on to the Showdown portion. We're going to sit down, look at this. First set I got here is an Assault Vest set. I actually have been using this set when I play with Guzzlord. Uh, the Lord himself. You didn't even got to nickname him. He is the Guz Lord. He is the Nut Lord. <laughs> but I figured I'd run an Assault Vest set, and with the Beast Boost, it does not count for HP. So you'd be gaining a special attack boost every single time. Running up with Earthquake, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, and Draco Meteor. Draco and Dark Pulse are the good stabs. Flamethrower to kill mons like Barathorn, Scizor, stuff like that that you can't be able to touch with your stabs. And then, of course, Earthquake, just for coverage, like I said. So. There's that. You also can actually run Sludge Bomb as well in one of these slots, so you don't have to run Flamethrower if you really didn't want to, if you were confident enough in your Dark Pulse. You could may as well run Sludge Bomb as well. And then, of course, you can also run dra uh, Dragon Pulse over the Draco Meteor if you don't want to get that drop, because you have to be confident enough in order to get the kill, in order to get back the boost. So like how I said, with Super Power on Buzzwall, and you get the Beast Boost back up, so it would be like he never lost that attack stat, it's the same thing with Guzzlord, but the thing about Guzzlord is, is he will be at minus one, which is the unfortunate part about it, because he gets a plus one boost after Beast Boost once he kills somebody, and he'll be gaining that plus one in special attacks, and that's at his highest stat. Again, it doesn't count HP. Um, so then it's like, after the Draco, yeah, you could kill somebody with it, but then he'd be at minus one, which, you, honestly, you'd rather be sitting at a minus one Draco than a minus two. Like, the, the power power gap is pretty significant but like i said again if you don't feel comfortable running that by all means you can run dragon pulse you can run a different dragon stab you don't have to run this i just figured go all out you know go big or go home with the power like that but again you can run dragon pulse you don't got to worry about that he does learn dragon pulse so that is something that you can definitely run um yeah he does not learn dragon pulse never mind what the fuck look at his dragon moves Nah, nigga, you stuck. <laughs> if you went on a specially offensive dragon move, you are stuck with Draco. Yeah, you're stuck with Draco. You're stuck. You're stuck with Draco. 
You're still never mind. I take all that back. That is unfortunate. That is gonna be real. I again, I see him being a UU mon. That's just me. A lot of people see all these ultra beasts all going to Ubers. That's they're probably not really you know up to par with their knowledge. I'm sure their designs look OP. And sometimes when you look at their stats, you look at people when you really sit down and look at their stats, look at this. He's an ultra beast right here. He's just really tanky. He's not like he's tanky. That's the best way to put it. Not bulky. Bulky kind of comes along with it, but mainly tanky because his defense stats are really poor, but that HP stat is going to make him naturally bulky and tanky. Um, but like I said again, he has not learned Dragon Dra uh, Dragon Pulse, so that's going to be really unfortunate. You're stuck with Draco! Unless, of course, you want to run Dragon Claw, you can, since you could run a mixed Assault Vest set here and run Dragon Claw. Again, that'd be on you, um, since it has a minus defense here, so taking U turns, you will not appreciate it, stuff like that, and play roughs, you will die to it immediately. Oh, another set I have here is a Choice Bandit set with Dragon Claw, Crunch, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. Figured stack everything in HP and attack. The thing is so slow, you may as well not even try to outspeed anything. Sure, I'm going to talk about the third spread here. Sure, you can probably run something to where it's like... You know, you can run something to where it's like, hey, this can work out. This will definitely be a thing. Kind of like the speed creeping, which I'll talk about within the next set, which I did that for. But Bandit set is pretty good. It hits pretty hard because his attack set is the highest set. It's actually higher than his special attack. Um, and he hits pretty hard here. Uh, Poison Jab, of course, for fairies. If you don't run Poison Jab, and I'm telling you this right now, people who've used Hydreigon and Yui meta, you also know as well. If you don't run, like, Poison Jab or a Poison or Steel move, you're honestly gonna get fucked up by fairies. Because this mod gets fucked up by fairies. Of course, he's quad weak to it. And most of the moves that he learns really can't do much against fairies. He has really good move pool with both Poison moves and Steel moves. If you look here, he actually learns Gyro Ball, which could be pretty useful for him since he is really, really slow. So you actually could run a minus speed nature and you could get rid of all the EVs here and just straight up run a brave banded nature here, be at 81 and get off a very powerful uh, Gyro Ball there. You easily could do that. Um, I also like the fact that he learns Poison Jab, like I said. I have a Sludge Bomb if you want to run an especially offensive heavy slam and he's pretty fucking heavy. Look at him. This nigga eats the ocean. You know he's going to be heavy as shit. Uh, Sludge Wave, like I said. He learns all these really cool moves that are going to be able to help him kill these fairies. And I like that. You know, where I talked about before with, um, as I talked about before of Buzzwall. Was it Buzzwall? It was, it was somebody. I can't remember who, but it was somebody where I was like, they don't learn much moves in order to handle their weaknesses. Um, I can't remember who, but you probably look back and look at the music videos. I talked about somebody that I did, and I'm like, he doesn't learn much moves that really handles the weaknesses. To whereas Guzzlord really does. He learns Poison Jab on the physical side of Poison, as well as Sludge Bomb and Sludge Wave. And then, he, of course, he learns Heavy Slam and Gyro Ball. All he would need now is, like, Flash Cannon for the Steel, especially offensive, but... Fuck that. You're heavy as shit. Just run Heavy Slam. His attack side is higher, too. Just run Heavy Slam, dude, you know? Um, he also learns Iron Tail as well, but I mean, why would you run that? You're probably gonna miss. Um, but like I said again, this thing is pretty heavy. He's really cool, honestly. He's pretty fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. I love him. Like I said again, he's my favorite out of the Ultra Beast. He's cool as shit, hands down. And I like this set. It's proven to be very useful towards me, and I think it just works out quite well. Uh, things that could be a potent threat to it, of course, are again, like I talked about, Steel types, but you have Crunch. And it's a banded stab crunch, which is within generation six. For some reason, if you skip that, like X and Y and Auras, in X and Y, they made it to where dark type Pokemon are now neutral on steel types rather than before previous generations where they've resisted it. So this makes it a lot better now. So you, if you really don't want to run like flamethrower, I guess you could run crunch. But it's going to be pretty problematic to deal with stuff like Scizor and stuff like that, like a banded bullet punch, like a mega scissor after an SD or some shit like that. So watch out for that. But you're pretty tanky, so you should be okay to dish back a solid hit back, you know? And then, of course, the last set I got here, which you probably wonder why the fables here, is a lefty set at sub three attacks. I figure with a mass amount of HP like this and a decent offensive stat pool of 101 in attack and 97 special attack, that's honestly pretty decent for his wide move pool as well, or decently wide move pool, I should say. Uh, you definitely can run a sub-3 attack set, and I've also tried this one out, and it works pretty well. A lot of Pokemon you can fear out. Um, you can fear them out for some reason, and then you can just simply get that free sub and proceed to get this damage off. You have a mass amount of HP, so I definitely wanted to run a substitute set when I saw this. Unfortunately, he doesn't learn any reliable recovery, which is going to hurt him a lot in the long run, and he also doesn't learn 
like any reliable setup moves. If anything, I don't think he learns any setup at all. I think. Watch this nigga learn work up. Let's actually look through. Uh, watch this nigga learn work up. Watch. Does he learn work up? Stockpile. Hey. Swallow. Does he learn spit up? He probably does if he learns all that. Actually, look that up. No, he does not. He does not. Wow, that's crazy. Holy shit. It's really unfortunate. Uh, but I'm running this speed pool, and you're probably thinking I'm crazy for running this like interesting set here. I'm running this because it outspeeds Clefable with absolutely no speed investment. And most Clefables, they don't really run speed investment. I think at times, the only reason why they would is, hang on, I think at times it'd be, isn't it for a zoomer if I'm not like crazy mistaken? 218, yeah. Sometimes they creep for a zoom roll and some shit like that, you know, but you'd have to creep like significant, like you literally have to do this, like you just naturally creep it like that, like just going 252. So, I mean, in league format, they do that. They don't do that in smoke on single, but they do it in league format because it's a counter format. But most times, people don't run speed investments. If anything, they run absolutely no speed investments within their Cliff Able. Uh, they usually go like max HP. Most of it in physical defense and limited special defense is usually what the common Clefable set is. So, like, have no fear. Guzzlord is here. A Pokemon that can use Poison Jab and who can not fear Clefable. Well, still fear it, but usually, like, Clefable you could probably think, hey, I get a free switch in on Guzzlord because, hey, he's much slower than me. Psych, my boy. You can creep it to where you naturally speed it by one point, putting in 140 investment. Um, you honestly could do, like... Jolly as well, but I'd rather you go at him it. This way you can get the absolute maximum power you can land it off. And hitting that poison jab is definitely going to be delicious. And then, of course, chunk the rest into HP. I'm going to keep it odd number so you get more switch ins within Stealth Rock. Uh, like I said, again, the move pool, Earthquake is just nice. It's good coverage. You honestly could swap out Earthquake for like a fire move. You, you could just, unfortunately, he doesn't learn any like physical fire moves, but you easily could just swap it out for like Flamethrower or Fire Blast. I only put in Flamethrower in the first set. I never run Fire Blast and I never run Hydro Pump because I don't land moves like those, but you could do it if you wanted to. And then, of course, there could be a really cool barrier set too with Belch. Like, absolutely murder. Let's build that right now live. Holy shit, what the fuck? I'm not gonna do any EV spreads. He can go like Citrus Berry. What is Belch? Cannot be sucked into the user eats a berry. So you could go like Citrus Berry, Belch, or some shit like that, you know? Hella Belch, Hella Draco, Hella Dark Pulse, Hella Flamethrower. Oh, yes, because you want that Flamethrower so you can't hit Steel types. And honestly, this looks good to me. <laughs> so look at that. We just built another set live. This bulky special super looks good to me, you know? And we just built another set live just like that. Because the spread looks good. Not see, not always would have suggested spreads from Shodown be good, but this one's actually good. Um, we just built a belch set. <laughs> we just built a belch set on Citrus Berry Belch set. I don't know if anybody else has built this set yet, but it's pretty fucking cool. I want to try this one out. I'm going to try it on a Shodown live video, so just wait on it, guys. It's definitely going to happen. But like I said again, I love Guzzlord. Again, like I said, it's my favorite Ultra Beast out of all of them. Unfortunately, of course, he's the less stronger one. He's no Furamosa. He's no Kartana. You know, he's no Buzzwall, but he's getting around town. He definitely can do the job. You know what I mean? So, like I said, guys, he's my favorite one. He's cool as shit. Give him the time of day. Definitely try him out. But again, like I said, these are not the only ways you can run him. So, if you find any other ways, by all means, leave them in the comments down below. These are just the best and most efficient ways to run him. So, like I said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content as well as more moveset videos. Definitely leave your own sets in the comments down below if you didn't see them on this video. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.